I am just standing here inside my home office and I want to make it a little more cozy. And so I'm hoping I can do it without ruining the place. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I am standing in my home office here. I don't know how big this is. My guess is it's probably like 15 feet long by, I don't know, eight or nine feet wide. Not very big. 150 square feet or something like that. As you can see, I can spin around here. Can't quite touch the walls on all sides. Ooh, did that make you dizzy? But over the years, I have just put up stuff that I've liked here, kind of the ski map, my Steve Jobs painting, and it's kind of cozy, but I thought, well, since I spent a lot of time here doing work, responding to emails, editing videos, why not just make it a place where I actually really want to be? Now, I was thinking about this a little bit and thinking about different themes and painting it. And I want to try to gussy up the place on a budget uh, as cheap as I possibly can. And hopefully I don't wreck the place because I'm going to try some stuff that I have never tried before. And what I really wanted to do was sit in an office overlooking snow covered mountains out in Colorado or Montana or Wyoming or something like that. But short of a miracle, that's not going to happen. So I thought I might just bring some of those elements here. Now, most of the work is going to be over here. And I actually thought this closet right here, which you've probably seen behind me many times when I'm live streaming, is just a closet, but it almost looks like a big picture window. So I'm actually going to turn that into a fake window. So hopefully that works. And then also this door right here to go out, just standard size door, kind of looks like it's an extension of that window. So I thought I might try to make it look like this is a corner office, you know, give myself that big corporate promotion that I've been looking for at the Panda Research Institute. So I'm going to try some little life hacks on updating this place without breaking the bank, but try to make it look a little bit more rustic and outdoorsy, a place where I can go and feel relaxed. So let me show you what I got. Let's start doing it and see if the place looks better or quite possibly a lot worse. All right, and so what I wanted is this wall to look wood, but as I was pulling it away, I was like, man, I can use this wood wallpaper, which isn't gonna look real on close inspection, but it'll be good enough for my purposes. And it's not that expensive. So I got enough for that. And I figured I don't actually have a ton of wall here, some wall there and some elements there. And then I thought, why not just do this right and make three walls? Kind of just like applying a big decal to an iPad. But that's what I'm gonna do because I like making the work as hard as humanly possible. So let's take a look at the wallpaper we're putting up. It is going to be a much more affordable way to go. And it's like this vinyl, sticky, self-adhesive wallpaper. I think it's kind of like contact paper. All right, so I actually put this up in the corner here. I wanted to start where I actually had a straight edge. I love it. And I picked up some decor pieces just to put up in places. One of the things that I thought I could replace are these crate shelves that I keep the TV on. Now, I certainly want to keep the TV here, but I thought, what could I replace this with that would make it look a little more homey and feel a little bit more inviting? <laughs> done distressed white I think is the color here and it has kind of this barn wood top to it it's pretty handsome looking looks a little like a farmhouse setup one of the things that I really do like and boom look at that it kind of looks cool kind of looks like a real fire you got the leaping licking flames on the back there well if I could turn this area into what looks like a fake window by putting a decal on there putting some pictures on there it might just brighten it up and if nothing else I'm just gonna go with something lighter much lighter than that dark wood <laughs> All right, all done here. But you'll have to be the judge of whether that makes it look more like a window. To me, it makes this 175 square foot office feel like 185. New year, new office, 
The place is a little bit of a mess. This is like a working office. This is where I pre-evaluate stuff before I show it to you. This is where I decide, hey, I'm gonna show this to you. This, I'm not gonna show it to you. I do a lot of work up here, spend a little time here. Woohoo! look at that, my high sense TV. Now, because I spend a lot of time here, I wanted this to be a little more clubhouse-ish. I wanted it to be a little more inviting, just a place that I would wanna be. I know some people have their man caves. This is more like a man office, but obviously I went with this kind of ski chalet theme. Now I will say I was kind of torn because I was actually thinking about doing like a Japanese theme. Instead of having this try to look like a window overlooking the mountains, I was thinking about doing like bamboo background and stuff like that. And then more of like a paper type of wallpaper. Now I will say everything about this was super cheap. Does it look like a corner window? Mm, I don't think so, but it looks good enough that I enjoyed. And it's actually funny that I was actually sitting at my computer and someone was like, where are you, man? There's like mountains in the background. So maybe it looks a little bit like a window, but I will say that this was all that dark, dark wood. And so it opens it up a little bit. The other thing that I did was just get some different tchotchkes to put places, my creator award there. And then this chair, I showed you this, this is Yodola. And what I like about it is this is a huge chair. Look how wide this is. I mean, you could definitely, almost put two people on this thing, but it actually turns into a bed. So I can sit here, watch a little TV and relax. I've got my little end table here. Again, like I said, it's a mess, but this is kind of where I will spend a lot of time. So this is my inexpensive facelift. And it also means that nothing's permanent. So if I wanted to move, sell this place, go with a different theme, although this has been a lot of work to do everything, I could just rip all this wallpaper off. The little facelift for your favorite spaces is gonna make you live a little better. I'll put links to all this stuff in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can stop more and explore so much deeper.